Welcome back, everyone. Following a tough defeat to Golden State, the Lakers were able to come right back with a win over San Antonio, and one where they also got back LeBron after a two-game absence. Now, no official word on if he got any kind of treatment done on his ankle, but he looked completely fine out there tonight, putting up 28-7-9 on very efficient shooting from both the field and three-point line too, looking really well rested out there after pretty much shaking the entire week off. And I think we can all agree that's a good sign for their team going forward. A healthy LeBron can make the difference in them being a play-in tournament team, or instead being a legitimate playoff team, hopefully being able to tell Ray to avoid the play-in tournament entirely. Now, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here, but I like what we saw from LeBron along with their entire team starting lineup in this one. In fact, pretty much all of their points came from that group, with their starting lineup accounting for over 90% of their total points. And believe it or not, they had 92 of the team's 97 total points entering the fourth quarter, and that's pretty much unheard of. I mean, it's really not that shocking with them having a very offensively orientated lineup to put it bluntly, but I would have liked to see a bit more from Spencer Dinwiddie and Torian Prince. After a couple of good games, Dinwiddie has had a difficult time coming out of the All-Star break, having only 5 points in their game last night, and then putting up a donut tonight. Now, I don't think there's any reason to worry here, as it definitely does take time for a new player to figure things out, but Dinwiddie is the key to their bench unit in my opinion. I mean, with Rui Hachimura now being a member of their starting lineup, they have nobody coming off the bench that can truly give them a spark. Torian Prince might get hot from 3 every now and again, but nobody can really create their own shot other than Dinwiddie. And I think they need to find a better way of getting him involved early. I know it can be difficult to find a timeshare between himself, LeBron, D'Lo, and Reeves with ball handling duty, but Dinwiddie should be in that mix too, and I felt like he really wasn't out there tonight. Again, give it time, but I am hoping to see more from him in the future, both in regard to production, along with simply opportunity as well. But regardless, you can't be too unhappy about what their team did on offense tonight. After a tough shooting game in their matchup with Golden State, they rebounded to shoot over 50% from the field and over 40% from three. Other than Anthony Davis, every member of their starting lineup had two or more made three-point shots, along with shooting at least 40% from three which happens to be the mark that Rui Hachimura is sitting at on the entire season now. I know it's been kinda quiet, but Rui Hachimura has become one of their best 3-point shooters, and I love the fact that he's not afraid to be a high volume 3-point shooter now either, with him now taking about one 3-point shot per game more than he did with their team last season, averaging out to about 5 3-point shot attempts per 36 minutes. And overall, I love their offensive output in this one. Now, their energy on defense at times would be another conversation entirely, but they did enough to get the win. And with them soon getting back Cam Reddish, along with hopefully Gabe Vincent, that could go a long way in helping improve their perimeter defense. But with all of that being said, I'll let you hear from the Lakers about their win tonight. And after listening, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. All right, LeBron, first significant minutes for you in a couple of weeks. Uh, looked pretty explosive out there. How did you feel physically? I felt pretty good. Um, I, was pretty, I was more surprised how, how good my win was. Uh, ankle held up pretty good. Uh, a little sore, but, uh, you know, I was able to come out and uh, help the team win. That's most important. Always something a little special about going against number one picks. You, of course, have seen 20 of them since you were. Uh, what did you make of Vic tonight? Uh, I've all said it from the beginning that he's, uh, he's special, you know, and, uh, you know, he has an unbelievable coach that's going to make sure that he does things the right way, play the game the right way, and he's going to continue to develop. But he's already special, but he's going to continue to get better and better and better, you know, each and every game, each and every year that he steps on this floor. You, of course, have a lot of history with Greg Popovich going back to that series in the finals when how you changed your game afterwards. How has that evolved to the point where you just go over and say hello tonight? Uh, it's just uh, the utmost respect, one of the greatest coaches of all time, but more importantly, one of the best people of all time that I've ever been around. And, uh, you know, I love everything about Coach Pop and, you know, to be able to share the floor with him, to be able to talk to him and be and have a friendship that we have, it's, um, it's very special to me. All right, so you guys get the victory tonight. Now just a few games really remaining for the rest of the season. Where do you guys have to get to to find the type of rhythm that you want to climb up the standings? Uh, just keep playing Laker basketball. You know, we got to keep defending. We got to keep sharing the ball offensively. Don't turn the ball over. Don't give up second chance points on the, on, the, on the defensive end. And then uh, try to get as healthy as we can going on the stretch. So, you know, that's been uh, Achilles Hill for the last couple of years. Uh, this year it's, it's haunted us a little bit. But guys are getting in good rhythm at each and every game. And hopefully we can get some of our guys back soon. Appreciate it.
for both of you guys. Just, I guess, what you guys take away from tonight's victory, and just how good is it, was it to just get back in the win column after last night? Uh, I just took away that we got a lock in uh, for the start of the half. Uh, we let them come back to like a three point down three, uh, so we just need a lock in. So I mean, we can put them away sooner. Darvin mentioned that he just spoke speaking with him. He mentioned that you know there's some slippage here and there. What were you guys seeing out there that you guys either weren't doing well or the Spurs were doing well that allowed them to stay in the game the way they did? They're well coached, so they're gonna con they're gonna continue to to do what they're supposed to do. You know, it's never over against the Spurs. So I think keeping that mentality for 48 minutes allowed us to um, keep the league and continue to fight too when they when they when they claw back. So that's it. I say thank you. <laughs> Go again. Um, you guys have Maybe faced no Wimbenyama a couple times already this season, but even with that, you know, he's had a five by five tonight. Just what have you seen him or have you seen him evolve from those early season matchups in December to now? Shoot. I mean, shoot. Whenever you have somebody like that size and that skilled, I mean, they're, they're always down or bound to do something really well. And I mean, He's definitely come a long way. I feel like since we saw him at the beginning of the year, uh, he's playing with like a lot more balance, and I mean, he's just attacking the oak glass more. So I mean, he's coming. I mean, he's going to be real good. D'Lo, uh, this point last year when you guys had 24, 25 games left, you go on that run, then all leads to the Western Conference Finals. Now that the break's over. What are you guys talking about these final 24, 25 games to to get you where you want to go in your your journey? Um, I think we never talked about it last year. We just kind of played one game at a time, um, and we were clicking as well. So for, and for us, it made it easy for any individual to kind of, I don't know, capitalize the game, you know. Um, I just remember Vando winning games at that time. Rui was winning ga winning games. AR, Brian, AD, obviously myself. Everybody brought, um, brought their hard hats in and, and, and felt like they were a part of it. So I think that's where we're at now. A lot of guys are coming back from injury. But as a whole, the guys that are playing, you know, feel like, you know, we were something's brewing. Darwin, at the start of your last answer, Mike, you just were kind of sound like expressing dissatisfaction um, to us with what, you know, the way you guys approached it or executed. Just can you point a little bit more specifically? Well, at I, what? I just think, you know, it's, it's, co it's a coach's thing, right? You want your team to, to constantly, you know, look within and, and try to make plays and, and, and force the other team to put you in uncomfortable positions and not you put yourself in those uncomfortable positions, whether it's, you know, not sprinting back in transition or allowing team to get two, three offensive rebounds or, you know, fouling because we're not in position, we're not doing our work early. And then going down the other end, you know, not trusting the execution. You know, we got a bunch of weapons, but they're useless if we don't do the little things, sprinting hard.